this is MJ and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this warm, cozy cardigan. It has pockets, it's nice and big and oversized, and even though we're going into warmer weather, it's still a great cardigan to pull over a tank top on these days that are a little bit cooler. So now this sweater is designed with a loft, which is a beautiful silk super kid mohair blend and it gives us that really fun fuzzy look. I had some hats and headbands and mittens done with this sort of effect back in the winter that were quite popular and I just really love adding a strand of this with a strand of worsted. Just it works up much quicker and it just gives it a really cool look. I just love the dimension the hand pa painted yarn adds. So this is the color here that I've used and it's gorgeous. All the different color blends. And I use seashell in Brava Worsted. I just have a little bit left here from what I was working with, but it's really bright and vibrant. But adding the two shades together, it just kind of mutes it a little bit and just gives it a really cool dimension. These were two other color combinations that I really liked for uh, another really nice look for spring. Now you could also just make the cardigan follow along and you could make this in worsted weight as well. You could just even go with your one strand of Brava. It won't be quite as thick and you won't have that fuzzy characteristic, but it will still turn out great. And Brava is from We Crochet and this yarn is only $1.99 a ball. So six balls to make this cardigan, that's only $12 plus tax. And shipping so super super affordable to make this cardigan and this yarn and it is a really beautiful 100% um, premium acrylic yarn okay to start our band we're going to be working with our five millimeter hook which is our H and you're going to take a strand of your Brava worsted and a strand of a loft hand painted yarn. So one of each and the band for our sleeve and our back is going to be worked the same way. We'll just have more rows for the back panel. So to begin, let's make a slip knot. And we're gonna chain up 20. I'm gonna work in the third chain from the hook, so one, two, three, and we're working half double crochets. So yarn over, go through the chain, bring up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. So work half doubles along your chain. So that you have a total of 18 half double crochet stitches. Okay, so I have 18 stitches. We'll chain two and turn. So my chain two will not be included as a stitch. We're gonna work into this very first stitch and we're gonna make a half double crochet in the back loop only. So we're going through only the back loop. Now make sure that you're getting your little strand of a loft and your brava, so the two strands. And as you work this pattern, that's just one thing you're gonna to have to be aware of is just to make sure you're not missing that little loop, the little fine lace yarn. So we're just working half doubles in the back loop only and this is how the band will be worked throughout. And I really like the look of 
the half double crochet in the back loop only, the look that it gives for ribbing. I think it's really nice. So I'm going to complete this across. When you get to the end, we're just chaining two, whoops, chaining two and turning. And we're just completing the same thing, working half doubles in the back loop only. So for our sleeve, I'm making a total of 18 rows. So there's 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. And for the back panel, I want you to work a total of 48 rows. So I'm not going to show both. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make up, I've already worked my one sleeve. So I'm going to make up the band here for my next sleeve. So I'm not going to work up the full 48 rows for the back panel. You can just go ahead and work those. It's really simple. We're just working um, the, the same way. And our back panel has no increases or decreases. So we're just working half double crochets across. Where the sleeve's a little bit more complicated because we are doing an increase pattern. So I'm going to work through that with you. So I'm going to complete working my 18 rows off camera and then I'll meet you up to show you the next step. Okay, so I have my 18 rows and now what we need to do is work single crochets across the rows. So now when we're working a half double crochet, when I look at how many stitches that I need to do, I don't do one stitch for every row. I need to do three stitches for every two rows. So in order to figure out how many stitches across I need, you can multiply 18 by 1.5 and that gives us 27. But I want an even number so I'm going to do 28. But always just a rule of thumb is when you're working over the half double crochets is you have to think you need three stitches for every two rows. So when I work across, I kind of go in a pattern that I do three across those two rows. So let's chain one, work one, two, and three. So there's one, two, and three. So I'm making sure my third is going up in the top and that I get two in between that section. So you can just work that all the way across. So that you have a total of 28 stitches. Worked up to 26, 27, and 28. So we're sort of just adding an extra in the end. Okay, so if you're working your back panel now, your back panel you should have 48 rows and you're going to want to work across 72 stitches. There'll be no increases or decreases throughout the back panel. So work half double crochets, 72 stitches, and complete that for 45 rows. Now for the sleeve, I've worked across 28, and we're gonna be increasing from 28 all the way up to 52 stitches. And that will give us about a 16 inch upper arm width. And now what I'm doing is I'm changing to the larger hook. So we work with the smaller hook across and then we can switch here to the larger hook. Chain two and turn. And now I'm working half double crochets in every stitch across for a total of 28. Okay, so I've completed that, total of 28 stitches. Now we'll chain two and turn. 
And our next row will be our increase. So we'll be increasing every other row for our increase pattern. So work two half double crochets in the first stitch. And then work across a half double crochet in every stitch. We'll add two in the final stitch. So I'm gonna work across and then I'll meet you up. So I'm adding two in the final stitch. So that's a total of 30 stitches. Chain two and turn. So now we're just repeating row one and two. So this row will be no increases. We're just working one half double in every stitch across. Then our next row will increase two stitches. And then your sleeve is going to look like this. So every other row is increased and I've increased up to a total of 52 stitches. So I've increased here to 52 and then I've done one row without an increase at 52 stitches. And that gives me a sleeve length of around 15 inches. So there, that's about 15. Now, if you're wanting to alter the length, you may have to do, if you needed the sleeve a bit shorter, you may need to do your increase a little bit quicker, like maybe um, instead of every other, um, do a second and third row increase and then a non-increase and so on. If you're wanting to alter the sleeve to make it shorter. Now, if you need to make it longer, I would just continue in length. So instead of stopping here, you could do another inch or two if you needed your sleeve a little bit longer. But this is an oversized fit sweater with a drop sleeve. So it is gonna come down your arm a little bit. Um, so the sleeve is the sleeve should be pretty good. And you can also, if you find the sleeve long, you could also roll up your, your cuff when wearing it and that would be fine too to make it a bit shorter. Okay so I've worked up a total of 45 rows ending on my wrong side because I want my right side facing now when we're working our front panels. So what I've done is I've marked out my neck opening here. So my neck opening is a total of 10 stitches and I've marked the first and the tenth stitch. So I have 31 stitches on this side, 31 stitches on this side. It's going to be really, really easy to make this. All we're going to do now is work our 31 stitches all the way down, our 45 rows. We're going to come over to the stitch here where we'll join in and work our 31 stitches and work 45 rows. So we just want the front panels now to equal the back in length. Once we get our rows completed, we'll then work a band just the same as we did the back. So very simple work ahead of us now. So let me just go on here and show you. So we'll chain two and turn. So we're on our right side. And then I'm just working over half double crochets in every stitch. So I'll work all the way across to the marker and that should be 31 stitches. So I've worked across to the marker. We'll chain two, turn our work. continue to work half double crochets so I'll need to complete this off camera but then I'll meet you back up to show you how to do the band And again, when you're joining on, you want to make sure your right side is facing and you're just joining here 
chaining two, working a half double crochet in every stitch across. And then you can complete those panels and then I'll show you how to do your band at the end. Okay, so I finished working up both of my front panels in the half double crochet. So I have 45 rows done on each side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the band separately and then we're gonna seam it to the bottom. I think it'll be a little bit easier to do it that way than joining as you go because it's a half double crochet band. So we're working this basically the same as we started off our other bands. We're chaining out 20. And in the third chain from the hook, we'll be working a half double crochet. And just work half double crochets all the way down your chain. Okay, so I am using my smaller hook for this. So I have my 18 half double crochet stitches worked across. We'll chain two, turn, and then we're working half double crochets in the back loop only. And we're gonna do this now for a total of 20 rows for our medium size here we're working on. Just sometimes you can end up pulling that thinner strand and it doesn't go through well. So you can just keep working this and we'll need to make two of them in total. So one for the left and one for the right front panel. So working half double crochets in the back loop only and we want a total of 20 rows. When we're done, we'll just work the 31 stitches across the rows in single crochet so that we line up with the 31 stitches on our front panels. Okay, so I have my 20 rows complete. So I'll chain one. And just like I showed you before, we're gonna work across 31. So we're doing three stitches for every two rows and we need to do an extra on the end because if you take 20 rows multiply it by 1.5 you get 30 but we need 31 stitches so we have to add that extra so one two three i always like to add the third up into that bumped row and it just keeps me on track So I'm just gonna work that across. Okay, so I've worked across 31. I'm just gonna fasten this off. And I'm gonna weave in my ends on these pieces because I left a long tail on my front panel that I'm gonna use for seaming. So now I have my two pieces made here, my band. So I'm gonna weave those ends in and then I'm gonna meet you back up and we can seam those to the bottom. Okay, so I have all my ends weaved in. So this is the right side of the cardigan and the nice edge here that we worked across will be the right side and the, of the band and we'll just flip those together. So we have right sides facing. And now to seam, this together, it's super easy. Just get your yarn on your needle. And we'll go through one stitch and one stitch of the band. And I'll just go through that first one twice. Go through the next stitch and the next stitch on the band. 
And we're just gonna do this all the way across. So I'll complete that off camera. So I'm just finishing up, finishing it up and I will do a knot at the end. And then we can just weave it here on the wrong side of the work. So you're gonna wanna go one way. And then we can go back in the opposite direction. Okay, that's how it's looking. Now a little bit of steaming or blocking is gonna help to really flatten that out. So now we can do the other one. So I'll complete that and then basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go block. I have my sleeves done and now this piece is all done once I get this seamed on. So I'm gonna block to measurements and I'll make sure I pop up uh, the picture with the schematics for you. And in your PDF, you'll have all the details for that for all the sizes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish seaming this one on and then I'll block it and then I'll meet you up again for the finishing touches. We'll seam on the sleeves and then we'll seam the sides together. And I'll also do some pockets for the front. Okay, I just wanted to show you here my pieces being blocked. So you can see what the front and back panel look like together and also the sleeves here. So you wanna block your sweater to the measurements given in the pattern and I'll pop up the schematics for the size we're working on. And you just wanna block it to some large foam mats you can pick these up at Walmart. There's four in a pack. I've ended up buying two packs so that I have enough to kind of block everything at once. And you just dampen your piece and then just pin it out to the measurements and allow to fully dry. Okay, so my pieces are all blocked. And now what we're gonna do is seam the sleeves to our piece. That is the next step. So right now I have my right side facing. And as you can see, we can just look along the lines to where the center is here. So basically this row is gonna be our shoulder piece. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of my sleeves. I'm just gonna fold it in half. I find this the easiest way, fold it in half and just add a stitch marker to the center. So I just took the stitch marker, put it in the center of the sleeve and attached it here to the center. Okay, and then we're just gonna take our yarn needle with the tail already on. lay it out flat don't stretch it and then we can just start seaming the sleeve across just don't pull your strands like too tight because you don't want a bunchy look on your arm So just try to keep that loose as you go along. Okay, so I'm gonna finish doing that off camera. Okay, so I finished doing that and I weaved my end. So that's sort of how it's gonna look when you open it back up. And I really like how that's come together. It's really neat. And now I'm just gonna go turn this around and do the other side. Yeah. 
I'll just do the exact same thing. I'm gonna find center here. right sides facing I'm just gonna put those together with the one marker like that make sure everything's laid out nice and flat even. And I'm just going to complete the same thing on this side. Okay, so now I have this one on. So the next thing I'm going to do is fold the cardigan so all the right sides are facing. Because what we'll do next is seam the sleeve and the sides of the cardigan. So you can start wherever you want. You can start at the end of the sleeve or the bottom of the cardigan. I think I'm going to start down here at the bottom and just work my way. Okay, so I have a really long strand of yarn and we're just starting out at the bottom here. And just pull your yarn through so that you have just a tail left for seaming. Now I'm using a strand of both, but you probably could just use a strand of your worsted to do this. I wasn't even thinking when I pulled this off, but... So you're wanting to make sure that you line up your band section as you seam that. You want to go through each stitch of the band. So basically this is all there is to it. So I'm going to sit and work away at this off camera and then we just do the identical thing to the other side. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and seam this up and then I'll meet you up when I have that complete. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is make the pockets and I'm using my 5.5 millimeter hook and we're gonna chain out 22. Okay, now we're going to work a half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So one, two, three. So work a half and work half double crochets all the way across the chain. Okay, and when you get to the end, you just want to chain two and turn. And now we're just working half double crochets in every stitch across. And you wanna do this for a total of 10 rows. So basically just working it like we did the sweater. We're just working a small piece. So it will somewhat blend into the cardigan. So do that for a total of 10 rows. Okay, so I've worked up my 10 rows and now I'm just gonna do A row here of single crochet. Go 
across the top. Okay, and I just worked one more row of single crochet and then we can just leave a long tail for seaming the pocket to the cardigan. Okay, so I've been working away on my sweater and I ended up doing just a simple single crochet border around the edges. So to do that, what you're gonna do is just come down here to the corner. You're gonna join on with your yarn. You're gonna work across the ribbing. And then when we get to the half double crochet rows, I want you to do it like similar idea to when we did the band. So for every two rows, we want three stitches. So I just picked out, sort of you can see the one row will pop up more than the other row. So I again just made sure I counted the one, two, and then made sure I was adding the third sort of in that row that pops up. It was just an easy way for me to keep track as I went around. And I also used my smaller hook when I was doing this border. So you're just gonna work all the way around, go across the top opening, come all the way back down, and we're gonna do a total of five rows so that we're ending on the right side here. And that's all you're gonna do for that section of the cardigan. I've already attached one pocket here. And now I'm just gonna show you sort of how we're gonna attach the second one. So here's the pocket and the, thing, the important thing is I just line mine up with the bottom row. So that makes that part easy. And then we're just wanting to make sure that we're leaving the same number of stitches on either side so that they match up. And then when you're sure you have it positioned correctly, you can always pin it there if it makes it easier. We're gonna seam down the side, across the bottom, and then up this side. So I'm just gonna try and get this position here. One, two, three, four, five. I've got about five stitches. So that's good. And then we also just wanna make sure we're coming across the row even as well. So then what I'm doing is I'm just going through a stitch of the sweater and then through the pocket. And just weaving that through. Okay, so that's really all there is to it. You're just doing that all the way. all the way down the side, all the way across the bottom and here, and I'll meet you up when I finish that. Okay, so the sweater is all complete. I just wanted to show you another color combination that I think is great for spring. You can add the seraphim with, what's this color name? Not sure what this one's called. Oh, Sydney Hand Painted. 